It's now a 30-day wait for Ronald Smith following an emotional day of testimony here at the Deer Lodge Courthouse. There, members of his victim's family say the sentence of death should be carried out. Ron Smith's family says he's a changed man and he deserves to live. I do believe the crimes that Ron committed 29 years ago is not indicative of who he is. And what is in his heart and soul, the man he is today. It was an emotional day in the courtroom, including some charged testimony from the son of Thomas Running Rabbit Jr., who died at the hands of Smith. And I just want you to know, Ronald Smith, I'm Thomas Running Rabbit, and I do not fear you. Decisions he made, he has to pay for. That's all there is to it. You know, they talk about mercy. Mercy. He had no mercy for my father. 29 years after the murder, Smith himself had a chance to apologize to his victims' families. I wish there was words that I could say that would help to ease the pain of these people because I do understand exactly what I've done. Um, and I've discovered even more so listening to them today. There's no words for it. I mean, how do you apologize for, even for having them go through 30 years of this kind of pain? Smith's lawyer says after hearing his victim's family's testimony, he broke down in private. Well, he was overwhelmed. Uh, it was pretty telling, really, that after, the, well, when the family members were uh, talking and we took the break, he, uh, he was just broken down in tears, uh, sobbing. The clemency board is expected to make a decision within the next month, at which point Smith will find out if he's going to live or die. For Sun News, this is Michael Platt reporting.